Hello, Young Life Leaders. My name is Drew Hill, and today's the 1,000th ever post on the Young Life Leader blog, and so I wanted to make a short video and tell you a little bit of the history of the site and introduce you to some of the folks on the team who helped make the site happen. I am a pastor in Greensboro, North Carolina, and a volunteer Young Life Leader, and I'm currently sitting in the basement of our home. My wife, Natalie, and our three kids, Honey, Hutch, and Hart, are upstairs, and they have been super supportive of me doing this blog since December of 2010. Next month will be five years. And it's really awkward making a video of yourself. And I've taken a few takes already and I haven't liked any of them. So I'm just going to keep going with this one and introduce you to some of the folks on the team. The first up is Stacy Green. Hi, my name is Stacy Green. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I help with social media and administrative support for the site. Stacy is amazing. Stacy, thank you for all you do. If any of you have submitted a guest post, then you have probably worked with Stacy. She used to be a part of the Greensboro Fellows Program here in North Carolina, but recently moved back to Florida, and so we were sad to see her go, but thankful that she's still helping with the site. We're also so thankful for Julie Clapp. Julie is our wildlife champion, and she lives in Texas, and she is amazing at collecting great resources for wildlife folks and so she's connected with many of you wildlife folks and y'all have done a heck of a job at providing really helpful resources for folks doing middle school ministry around the world so julie thank you for all you do and then we're really thankful for suzanne williams and her team that are putting together great resources for young life capernaum and reaching kids with disabilities and it is such a gift to the mission so suzanne thank you for all you do and all the resources that you help provide. We are still looking for folks that will help with the other areas of Young Life uh, and help provide resources for those. So if there is a part of Young Life that you are working in and you feel like you have some bandwidth and energy to, to help share and gather some resources for those, like Multicultural Urban or Young Lives or College, then let us know because we would love to connect with you as well. We also have the great gift of so many of you that write guest posts throughout the year. This semester in particular, two guys have been writing a series of guest posts. Justin McRoberts out in California has been writing about discipleship on Tuesdays. And then on Sundays, Phil Anderson has recently started a series called Running on Empty. That is incredible and I really commend to you as Young Life leaders. Phil has been on the Young Life staff for a long, long time and now is a spiritual director here in Greensboro. North Carolina and a dear friend and just one of the godliest men that I know. So I hope that you'll be blessed by what Phil is writing and posting on Sundays. Here's a little message from Phil. Hi, I'm Phil Anderson. I live in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I write in order to remind leaders of the difference between believing that God is love and experiencing the love of God. Below this video is a short survey if you would take it, it would be really helpful for us in knowing how we could tailor the site to be more helpful for you. Thanks for visiting the site. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for being a Young Life Leader and doing whatever it takes to bring kids face-to-face -face with Jesus.